Hey shop rats, welcome to United Prop Builders. Today we're going to do a let's build of an astromech. Specifically, I'm going to be doing R2-D2, but you can follow this to make your own astromech unit of any kind you want. R5, R4, R3, R2, R9, any of them. So, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is do a lot of research. Go online, go to the astromechs, builders, go to the R2 builders, see what you can find. So, what I did is I got some templates from the R2 Builders Club, from uh, Mike Davis and Matthew Hendricks. So these templates are made for wood, but if you layer them together with pieces of uh, foam core poster board, then you can get almost the same results. So a lot of these templates are from half an inch to three fourths of an inch. So for half an inch, I'm using about two layers of this. For three fourths of an inch, I'm using four layers of this. So you're going to want anywhere, if you're doing a one-to-one -one scale like I am, you're going to want anywhere from 12 to 16 sheets of this foam core board. Along with that, you're going to want some kind of box cutter or utility blade. Also, a good pair of scissors. Get your favorite pair of scissors because you're going to be using these for a long time. Also, knife sharpener. Pretty good thing to have around. That way you can sharpen your blades up and you're not going through as many of them because after two or three cuts through this foam core, your blade's dull and doesn't want to cut anymore, and you get terrible looking results, unfortunately. Also, pencil to trace the templates, some tape might be a good idea, and, or a pen, pencil or pen. And that's all the tools needed for this first part. So let's go ahead and get started on this build, shall we? So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is get your templates out and then begin cutting those out. So let's just get a few more things cut out here and we can get started. And then that's one piece cut out. So go ahead and spend the next several hours cutting out the rest of these, and then we'll catch back up with you. So once you have everything cut out, it's time to start tracing these on here. So this is half an inch. So what we're gonna need to do, what we're gonna need to do is trace this twice. It'll only fit on one piece of foam core board, so you're gonna need two pieces for this one piece. So let's just get tracing, shall we? Now that you have that traced out, what you're going to want to do is mark off your points right away before you move the template too far away and get it flipped. So that way you know where everything is. And I like to just write it all exactly in the same spots. That way there's no confusion later on as to what any of the pieces are. So just keep doing that for all the pieces you have. Like I said, if it's half an inch, you're gonna want about two layers. If it's three-fourths of an inch, you're gonna want about four. So we'll catch back up to you guys in the next episode.